now we reinforce our learning through an example wherein we need to calculate the coordinates of the vertex okay so beta ab pehle to ek question ko practice karte hain you see this question on the screen isme hamare paas do positions hain uh, a and b now we have to first find out the great circle distance between them and we need to find out angle a and angle b ye teen cheeze humne find out karni hai so get your notebooks and calculators and uh, i hope you should be able to do it in 15 minutes of a great circle track between position a 10 degrees north 40 degrees east and position b 30 degrees north 100 degrees east now this question for the gc distance initial and final course has already been solved in our video 1 so the pab triangle the formation of the pab triangle and calculation of angle a and b has been done therein so we will pick up the values of a and b from there but before that let's make the diagram for this case we have the pole we have in position a we have position b meridians of a and b connected by the gc track from a to b we have uh, pa has collet of a pb has collet of b and angle p as the d long between a and b now relevant results of solution to this pab triangle from video 1 r angle a 60 degrees 54.8 minutes and angle b 96 degrees 24.6 minutes मुझे ये बताओ कि इस केस में वर्टेक्स अंदर बनेगा या बाहर बनेगा बाहर बनेगा बाहर बनेगा सर बी की साइड नाइनटी सिक्स से बाहर बनेगा सर बी की साइड ऑन द बी साइड वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड यू हैव अंडरस्टूड बी ये किसी का नेट बहुत ही स्लो है बेटा एनीवे सर बिल्कुल कंफ्यूजन हो जाता है सर कि अपना करा वो क्या क्या नो नो योर्स इज़ ऑल बेटा so uh, you are perfectly right beta the vertex will be outside because one of the angles is obtuse angle that is angle p and it will be outside in the direction or on the side of angle p only so let's see ahead now we can we need to figure out as to where does the vertex lie now as one angle is obtuse the vertex lies outside the track and towards the side of the obtuse angle so vertex shall lie somewhere on this part of the track so we can mark a suitable point v denoting the vertex we can draw its uh, meridian from p from p the pole and that meridian shall make a angle of 90 degrees with the gc track at the vertex so beta hame jaise hi ye pata chala that vertex is outside and it is on the side of p हमने इस ट्रैक पे बाहर कहीं पर भी वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट टू टेक इट एक पॉइंट ले लिया और उसे नाम दे दिया V, रिप्रेजेंटिंग दैट दिस इज द वर्टेक्स एंड वी नाउ नो दैट दिस एंगल इज ऑलवेज 90 डिग्रीज एट द वर्टेक्स ग्रेट सर्कल ट्रैक इज ईस्ट वेस्ट एंड द मेरीडियन विच रन नॉर्थ साउथ दे इंटरसेक्ट एट राइट एंगल्स सो दिस इज ए 90 डिग्री एंगल सो Are is everything clear, beta? Any doubt up to here? No, sir. No, sir. Very good. So we have to make this triangle, uh, Papa Alpha Victor. So Pau Bhaji ka Pau ban gaya yahan pe P A V. So let's see now ke is P A V triangle mein ham aage kaise proceed karenge. now to solve for the coordinates of the vertex 
we can take any of the right angle triangle. There are two right angle triangles formed here. One is PVD, other is PVA. So we can always see which one is easier to solve. In this case, A can be directly used if we use PVA. So for this reason, just for the sake of simplicity, we have chosen the triangle PVA. So we make a cartwheel for right triangle PVA. So now, we have this triangle considered, which is shaded Papa Alpha Victor. So, in your mind, this can doubt be doubt. Sir, can I take PBV triangle too? Papa Bravo Victor? You can take that, but you have to take one thing. Can anyone tell me, son? Angle B, sir, which will be complimentary. Hoga. Yes, complimentary, son. They say supplementary. Bolte Supplementary angle, sorry. Right. So, if you take Papa Bravo Victor triangle, lete ho, le sakte ho aap. there is no problem. उससे भी आपका आंसर आ जाएगा, but आपको ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा कि ब्रेवो एंगल जो आप यूज़ करोगे उस ट्रायंगल में, it will be 180 minus the ब्रेवो एंगल which you have calculated, क्योंकि वो ब्रेवो एंगल इसका सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल हो जाएगा, तो आपको 180 minus एंगल B करके अपना नया एंगल B PBV triangle ki calculation may use karna hoga. That also can be done. Usse bhi aapka answer same aayega. So, humne yaha example ke liye Papa Alpha Victor triangle le li hai. Aur iska hum abhi Napier rule apply karne wale hai. So, we will make the cartwheel, the circular diagram and apply the Napier rule. We have shaded the triangle that we are talking about. So you can see we are talking about this triangle now. So, and it will be the angle P as far as PVA is concerned. So we have the cartwheel coming up divided into parts. Now 90 degree angle is V. So that comes up here. Then we have in the three bigger ones, we have complements. So we already put 90 minus out there. And now we clock we'll go clockwise from V. So from V, the first part is AB, which comes in here clockwise from here like this. The next part is angle A, so 90 minus A. The next part is right D A, 90 minus P A. Then it's angle P. So angle P obviously is this angle from meridian of A to meridian of V. And then we have lastly the side P V. So, beta, okay up to filling up of the diagram? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, beta, this diagram may up mujhe batao. Requirement hai ke hume 90 degree wale part ko chhod ke koi bhi aur do cheeze pata honi chahiye. So, can you tell me which two things are known to us? Sir, PA bata hai. PA and angel A. The PA and angle A. Very good, very good. So, we know the things that we know is the side PA, Papa Alpha, which is the collet of A. This we know from the first time. And the other thing that we know is the angle A. So, these two things are known to us. So, which parts are these? You see 90 minus PA is this part. This is known to us. And angle A is this part. This is also known to us. Now, we will apply the Napier rule in the Napier rule. So, this way we complete the cartwheel for the Napier's rule for the right triangle PVA. Now, in the right triangle, let us identify the parts that are known to us. We know PA. And we know angle A in the PVA triangle. So we mark these two parts in the cartwheel here. So we have PA known and we have angle A known. So these two values are known to us. Now we identify what we need to calculate. Now to get the latitude of V, we need to calculate PV. So PV would be one element that needs to be calculated. So, beta, one thing we will find is Papa Victor. Just as we get Papa Victor side, we 
this will give us the co-let of the vertex. Yes, Abhi, uh, somebody told me before, Papa Victor will be the co-let of vertex. Or 90 minus PV karenge to hamare pass vertex ka latitude a jayega. Understood better? Yes, yes, ma'am. अगर AV पहले calculate करते हैं तो उससे D loan मिल जाएगा तो क्या calculate करेंगे बेटा? सर इसमें अगर हम पहले AV AV calculate करना चाहें तो उससे भी D loan मिल जाएगा angle P मिल जाएगा हमें पूरा तो D loan नहीं बेटा ये बात का ध्यान रखना कि जो angle P है वो AV के equal नहीं है ये दोनों अलग अलग हैं। इक्वल नहीं है सर वो डी लॉन मिलेगा तो है पी की पोजीशन में ऐड जाते वी की लॉन्डिट्यूड मिल जाएगी ना? Yes, that is right बेटा। हम बेटा सेकेंड आइटम जो निकालेंगे वो होगा एंगल पी, ओके? अल्फा पापा विक्टर ए पी वी एंगल जो बन रहा है, which is basically एंगल पी ये वाला जो पार्ट है बेटा ये हम न जो है, it is the d long between alpha and victor. So once you know angle p, apply it to the longitude of a. Longitude of a is given to us. It is 40 degree east. हम इसे इस longitude पे apply कर देंगे और हमें vertex का longitude मिल जाएगा. Is it clear now, बेटा? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, so let's see ahead. To get the longitude of V, we need to calculate this angle P from meridian of A to meridian of V. So that is angle P. This part also needs to be calculated. So if you see for PV, these known parts are opposite parts. So we apply sine of the middle part is equal to product of the cosines. We put the values and we get the value of PV as 59.385 degrees which is colat of V and therefore latitude of V is 90 minus PV equals to 30 degrees, 36.9 minutes north. Now we apply the Napier's rule for these three parts in which this 90 minus PA is the middle part and the other two are the adjacent ones. So sine of mid part is equal to product of the tangent of the adjacent ones we put the values that are known to us and we get the value of P as 72 degrees 39.8 minutes. In the diagram, we can see this is the D long from A to B and the diagram clearly shows that the D long is easterly from A to B. Now, therefore, longitude of V would be longitude of A, which is 40 degrees east and D long is east, so we add them and we get the longitude of the vertex as 112 degrees, 39.6 minutes. So the coordinates of the vertex are 30 degrees, 36.9 minutes north, 112 degrees, 39.6 minutes east. Having calculated the coordinates of the vertex. The okay, beta. So up is a screenshot, Lelo. You can do this as your homework. Uh, find you can find the position of the vertex by applying the Napier's rule. Just take a screenshot, save it with you and match your answers once you have done it.